Russian roulette, even though it sounds scary, is actually a really fun and easy game. Did you know that 100% of people actually win that game? Because I asked every single participant that I could find who played Russian Roulette and they all said that they won every time. I wonder what happens to the people who lose. <laughs> now let's get into the problem. So cosecant of x is 1 over sine of x. and sine of a plus b, this is important because later we're going to have to expand sine of x plus h, is equivalent to sine of a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b. So that means that sine of x plus h would be sine of x cosine of h plus cosine of x sine of h. So let's write that down. So we know that the limit as h approaches 0 is 1, um, it's 1 over sine of x plus h minus 1 over sine of x divided by h. Now I'm going to multiply this by sine of x plus h over sine of x plus h, and this by sine of x over sine of x. So that will give me sine of x minus sine of x plus h over, we have the common denominator sine of x times sine of x plus h, but now we're also, since we have one common denominator here and another large denominator here, we're going to multiply them. So that gives us h times sine of x plus h times sine of x. Now we can expand this. Sine of x plus h is, as we mentioned earlier, sine of x cosine of h plus cosine of x sine of h. So that gives us we're going to spread this negative sign, so sine of x cosine of h, and then negative cosine of x sine of h, and that's over h sine of x plus h sine of x. Now, we're going to split this up into two fractions, so the limit is h approaches 0. Sine of x minus sine of x cosine of h, over h sine of x plus h sine of x minus cosine of x sine of h over h sine of x plus h sine of x. So why did I split up this fraction? Well, we can actually factor out sine of x out of the numerator here. So we get the limit, so we get the limit is h approaches 0 of sine of x 1 minus cosine of h over h sine of x plus h sine of x. Now you might notice that there are cancelable, uh, cancelable factors here, but what matters more is that we have 1 minus cosine of h over h, which as h approaches 0, leads to 0. Then we're subtracting that from the limit it's opposed to 0 of this, which is cosine of x sine of h over h sine of x plus h sine of x. And sine of h over h approaches 0 as h uh, approaches 1 is h approaches 0. So that means that we have this has already gone to 0. So we have the limit is h approaches 0 of cosine of x over sine of x plus h has no more meaning because we can set h to 0. So we have x prime of x is equal to cosine of x over sine of x times sine of x is sine squared x. And don't forget that negative that we had to tack on beforehand. So that becomes negative cosine of x 
over Science Squared. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you in the next.